Hello everyone. Welcome to a new video on my channel. I hope you enjoy it. I never thanked God for what I had. My family was well off, and we lived a comfortable life. My parents gave me everything I wanted and needed. My mom, in particular, always cared for me, but I never appreciated her love. I thought she was overprotective and interfering. I was foolish and didn't realize how important life is, or the value of the most precious person in it, a mother. My name is Sean, I am 23 years old, and I study at a prestigious university. My parents worked hard and spent a lot of money to get me into this university. As their only child, they dedicated their lives to me. One morning, I woke up to get ready for university. My mom had made breakfast and greeted me with, Good morning! I didn't reply and just ate silently. As I was leaving, she asked me to buy some groceries on my way back. I ignored her as if she hadn't spoken and left the house without looking back. I drove to university to meet my friends, Michael and Alex. We were all careless and spent our time doing nothing useful. We didn't care about our studies either, and honestly, we were hopeless. After class, as I was leaving the university, my mom called me. I rejected the call. She later called Michael, worried about me. He told her I was fine and would be home soon. That night, I came home very late after hanging out with my friends. When I walked in, I found my mom waiting for me. She asked, Where have you been, my son? I was so worried. Why didn't you answer my calls? I told her, Leave me alone. I'm tired and want to sleep. She gently said, At least let me give you dinner. You must be hungry. I ignored her and went straight to bed. The next morning, she woke me up for dawn prayer and said, Wake up, my son, and pray. May God guide you. I waited until she left my room and sent a message to my friends to meet up. I left the house, and my mom thought I was going to the mosque. But instead, I picked up my friends to waste time together. I came back just before noon and found my parents waiting for me. My mom welcomed me warmly, and we sat down for lunch. After a while, my father spoke to me seriously. He said, Son, you are old enough now, but your grades are not good. You need to focus on your studies so you can build a stable life and get married. Your mother and I are getting older, and we won't always be able to support you. I got angry and stormed out of the house. I called my friends, and we met up. That night, we went to a nightclub with some girls. Time passed quickly, and I didn't even notice the late hour. I looked at my phone and saw many missed calls from my mom. Michael told me she had called him too, worried about me. I told him to ignore her calls. After hours of partying, I went back home. When I arrived, I saw an ambulance parked outside. I ran toward the house, and there I found my father, crying. He looked at me and said, Your mother is gone. She passed away. I stood there, shocked, unable to process what I had just heard. I asked, how? What happened? My father explained that my mom had suffered from high blood pressure, made worse by her constant worry about me. He said, she was so worried when you left the house angry. She cried, afraid that you wouldn't come back. I felt guilt crushing me. I went inside and found a note on my bed. I opened it and began to read. I married your father, and we were so happy. Our dream was to have a child whom we could love and who would love us back. For many years, we didn't have any children, and we feared that I might never become a mother. But after a long time, I got pregnant with you, and I was overjoyed. During my pregnancy, I suffered from a severe illness that brought me a lot of pain. The doctor advised me to end the pregnancy to relieve the pain but I refused. I took medication to ease the pain, 
and stayed awake many nights because I couldn't sleep. When you were born, I took care of you and gave you the best clothes. I wanted you to always look your best. I bought you every toy you wanted and never denied you anything. Your father even got upset with me for spoiling you. I helped you with your studies, and I begged your father to enroll you in the best university. Every night, I waited for you to come home from your friends so I could make you dinner. I loved you so much and only wished the best for you. But you disappointed me, Sean. Despite everything I did, you hurt me. Still, I love you and pray that God guides you back to the right path. As I finished reading the letter, I broke down and cried like a child. <laughs> At that moment, all I wanted was to die so I could see my mother again and apologize to her. A mother is someone who loves without expecting anything in return. She gives and sacrifices everything for her children. No matter what you do, you can never repay her kindness. She is the reason you are alive and the key to your success. A mother offers her health and strength so you can grow up well. She is your support in this life and your way to heaven. I hope you enjoyed this story. Stay tuned for new stories every day. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you'll be the first to see the next part when it's released. Thank you for watching. See you next time.